Hi, I'm Paul Karazua from QuickLogic here today to talk about our new Arctic Link 3 VX family of products. But before we get into product details, let's talk about three distinct issues that designers and users of smartphone and tablets face. First, design issues. There are a number of display interface standards used on smartphones and tablets, primarily MIPI, RGB, and LVDS. And while this does present options to the system designer, there's also a number of problems that can be associated with this, chief among them being the display interface on the processor and the display is not necessarily the same. In the case of a mismatched interface, the system designer is faced with two options. First, they could either select a different display or processor, which could increase development and per unit cost, along with potentially negatively affecting design targets like size, weight, and battery life. The second option would be to use a dedicated bridge chip. These chips perform a single function, of course being to bridge the display interface signal coming from the processor into one that the display can understand. And while these chips perform this necessary function, they do consume a good amount of power in systems that are already power constrained and can be as big as 14 by 14 millimeters. This makes them actually larger than many processors. So you may be thinking, big deal. A few smartphones and tablets ship with a mismatched interface. Well, according to IHS iSupply, that number is more like 60 million smartphones. Yes, that's right. Just 60 million smartphones ship with a mismatched interface. And that number doesn't even include the exploding tablet market. Moving on to user experience issues. Two of the most common complaints of users of smartphones and tablets are poor battery life, and the inability to view content on the display in less than ideal viewing situations like direct sunlight. System designers can somewhat increase viewability by increasing display brightness, but as displays can consume as much as 50% of system battery resources, any increase in brightness is offset with a corresponding decrease in battery life. And with battery life being a key marketing feature, this is often not possible. So inevitably, both battery life and viewability are compromised in existing smartphone and tablet designs. So we've identified three distinct design and user experience issues that tablet and smartphone product planners face. And this is where the Arctic Link 3 VX becomes very compelling. The Arctic Link 3 VX series of products from QuickLogic offers tablet and smartphone OEMs a single chip solution for bridging display interfaces, extending system battery life, and greatly increasing display viewability in extremely difficult areas. It features 13 different silicon variants, differentiated by interfaces, speeds, and function. By far, the dominant interfaces in the smartphone and tablet markets are RGB, LVDS, and MIPI. The Arctic Link 3 VX performs vital bridging functions between RGB, MIPI, and LVDS, making it immediately attractive to those 60 million or so mismatched smartphones plus tablets. So you may be asking yourself, what about smartphones and tablets with matched interfaces? Well, to make sure we aren't left out of those 700 million or so units, we do feature the smartphone-centric MIPI interface and pass-through variants. This allows OEMs to use our power savings and viewability enhancement features without the added cost and size of bridging. Additionally, one upcoming feature in smartphones and tablets is going to be Pico projectors. And like displays, these projectors require a specific video interface. And like before, this video interface can often be mismatched to the processor. Picos generally also require a separate video channel, meaning the processor must provide two channels of video, which often they do not. To address this need, we've designed Arctic Link 3 VX parts that specifically address Pico integration needs. These Pico projector specific parts accept a single MIPI interface from the processor and then output both a MIPI and an RGB signal. This combines the design needs of interface bridging with the video channel duplication needs into a single chip. In the Arctic Link 3 VX, QuickLogic has included our new VHD Plus algorithm, which dynamically adapts for different lighting and viewing environments, providing the best possible viewing experience to the user. V optimizes the display content's contrast ratio, dynamic range, and color characteristics on a pixel-by-pixel, frame-by-frame basis to provide optimum viewability. V differentiates itself from competitive enhancement technologies in many ways, but chiefly in two. First, it is based on the human visual system. This results in processed images and videos that are much more pleasing to the eye. 
Competing technologies are based on machine vision models, which often result in images and videos that, while technically correct, are not as pleasing to the eye. The second way that V differentiates itself is that it is both a local and global-based technology. Typical competing methods use a global correction that improves some parts of the image, but often at the expense and details in other parts of the image. As an example of this, the native image above has been processed with V and competing technologies. Notice that while the competing technology has improved the tree area of the image, details in the clouds and mountain areas has been lost. V, due to its local and global adjustments, maintains or improves viewability in all areas of the image. It's also important to note that the display brightness of the V image has not changed. Followers of QuickLogic know that our V2.0 technology has been in production for some time and has found success with OEMs such as BenQ and Pantech. For the Arctic Link 3 VX, we've adapted our V2.0 technology and modified it for the increasing performance needs of OEMs. To address the ever-increasing resolution needs of smartphones and tablets, we've increased our V resolution support on the Arctic Link 3 HD to 1920 by 1200 at 60 frames per second, which is an excess of full HD. And within the Arctic Link 3 family, we also feature silicon variants that work at lesser resolutions, allowing OEMs to choose the right part for their application. As I mentioned earlier, after V processing, the image is much more viewable to the eye and appears to be brighter, but in fact, the display brightness has not changed. And this is where DPO, or Display Power Optimizer, comes in handy. As V optimizes the image, DPO can adjust the display brightness to suit the individual OEM's needs, whether it's visual enhancement, power savings, or both. I also mentioned earlier that displays can consume 50% of system power resources. Well, as displays grow in both size and resolution, this number is not expected to drop. And this is where OEMs can make use of DPO to maintain their viewing experience and increase their system battery life. The DPO Full HD technology contained in the Arctic Link 3 VX improves upon QuickLogic's existing DPO 1.0 and Intelligent Brightness Control technologies. DPO 1.0 was proven to extend system battery life by up to 41% based on just ambient light, with an additional 10% possible based on content-based savings with intelligent brightness control. To meet the needs of future smartphone and tablet designs, DPO Full HD Plus supports resolutions up to 1920 by 1200. DPO Full HD Plus can be used on LCD, Super LCD, OLED, and AM OLED displays. We've already mentioned the significant increase in maximum resolution that the Arctic Link 3 VX supports as compared to the Arctic Link 2. Well, a few other features that we'd like to point out. Even though the addition of the Arctic Link 3 into an OEM system will save significant system power using DPO HD+, the actual power consumption of the chip still does matter. So with the significant increase in resolution support, one would normally expect a similar increase in power consumption. However, we've been able to significantly reduce power consumption in the Arctic Link 3, to the point where we consume 60% less power at two times the resolution. The same logic would hold true that the dramatic increase in resolution would result in a bigger part. But in the case of the Arctic Link 3, this is not true. We shrunk the part by 44%, from 6 by 6 to 4.5 by 4.5 millimeters. And this is important primarily due to the ever-shrinking board space available on smartphones and tablets. It also doesn't hurt that we can perform interface bridging on a chip significantly smaller than products that do this function that are currently on the market. The Arctic Link 3 VX offers distinct user and OEM benefits. For the display bridging feature, the Arctic Link 3 offers the OEM the benefits of high-speed display interface bridging in a multi-function chip. And for the user, a no-compromise design. No longer do OEMs need to choose processors and displays based specifically on the interface. With VHD, the OEM benefits from a better user experience and better product reviews. And of course, the user is given display content that's clearly visible in all lighting conditions. And finally, with DPO Full HD, the OEM benefits from extended battery lifetime, and that is a superior selling point. And for the user, of course, less charging time and more use time. To sum up, 
The Arctic Link 3 addresses the three very distinct but very important user and system design issues facing tablet and smartphone OEMs today. Display bridging, battery savings, and viewability. The QuickLogic Arctic Link 3 VX addresses these three issues in a small, single, cost-effective part. Finally, we expect to begin sampling the Arctic Link 3 VX in Q1 of 2012, with mass production slated for late spring of 2012. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, please visit us online at quicklogic.com or post questions to us at blog.quicklogic.com.